Did you know that Amelia Earhart, one of the most famous aviators in history, was the first female pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean? Today we turn back the pages of history to recount the tale of a remarkable woman, a pioneer who soared above societal constraints and shattered the glass ceiling. Amelia Earhart, a name synonymous with courage, determination, and a spirit of adventure. Her most notable achievement, a solo flight across the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean earned her a place among the stars, both literally and figuratively. Born in the heartland of America in the sunflower state of Kansas, Amelia was a girl of grit and ambition. Her fascination with aviation was not a happenstance, but a love that was kindled in her childhood. Like many great personalities, her story too begins with humble origins. It was a small town fair where she first saw an airplane, and even though it was a rudimentary contraption of wood and wire, it sparked a dream in young Amelia's heart. A dream to fly, to conquer the skies, and to carve her name in the annals of history. Her journey wasn't a smooth one, fraught with challenges and obstacles. Yet she never allowed these hurdles to deter her from her path. She was a woman of the early 20th century, a time when women were expected to conform to traditional roles. Yet she dared to dream, dared to aspire, and dared to act. She challenged the norms, broke the barriers, and set new milestones. Her life was not just about flying, she was a woman of substance, a feminist icon who advocated for women's rights, a successful author, and a faculty member at Purdue University. Her life was a testament to her indomitable spirit and unwavering resolve. But how did a young girl from Kansas become a world-renowned aviation pioneer? Let's delve into her life story. Born on July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas, Amelia Earhart's journey was as extraordinary as her character. Her story began in a bustling household, raised by her mother Amy, a woman with a progressive outlook for the times, and her father Edwin, a lawyer with a volatile career. Amelia was the eldest of two daughters. Her sibling, Muriel, shared her adventurous spirit. The Earhart household was far from conventional. Amy encouraged her daughters to engage in activities typically reserved for boys, like climbing trees, hunting rats with a .22 rifle, and sledding down steep hills. This non-traditional upbringing allowed Amelia to develop a sense of independence and a taste for adventure, traits that would come to define her life. Amelia's fascination with flight was kindled at a young age, but her first encounter with aviation was not love at first sight. In her late teens, she saw an aircraft at the Iowa State Fair. She later recalled, it was a thing of rusty wire and wood and looked not at all interesting. But destiny had its own plans. Years later, while working as a nurse's aide in Toronto during World War I, Amelia would often watch the Royal Flying Corps practice their maneuvers. The sight of those warplanes soaring high above, defying gravity and piercing the clouds, captivated her. When she finally experienced flight in 1920, it was a transformative moment. As soon as the aircraft ascended, Amelia knew she had to fly. She famously declared, As soon as we left the ground, I knew I myself had to fly. From then on, the sky was not a limit but a beckoning frontier. Amelia took her first flying lesson in January 1921, and in six short months she purchased her first plane, a bright yellow Kinner Airster she affectionately named the Canary. These early experiences would later fuel Amelia's passion for flight, leading her to break numerous aviation records. In 1921, Amelia took her first flying lesson and thus began her remarkable aviation career. A woman of determination and courage, Earhart was not one to let societal norms dictate her path in life. She was drawn to the skies, and nothing could keep her grounded. Her flight training began under the tutelage of Netta Snook, one of the first female aviators. Snook imparted to Amelia not just the technical skills, but also instilled in her a deep love for flying. With each lesson, Earhart's confidence soared just as high as the planes she piloted. Before long, Amelia had her own aircraft, a bright yellow Kinner Airster she affectionately named the Canary. With the Canary, she began to test her mettle setting altitude records and capturing the attention of the aviation world. Her early flying experiences were not just about breaking records though. They were a testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who dared to dream in a time when such aspirations were considered impractical, if not impossible, for her gender. Amelia's love for flying was not just a personal passion. She saw it as a means to inspire and empower other women. In 1935, she joined Purdue University as a women's career counselor using her platform to motivate and encourage young women to pursue their ambitions, no matter how unconventional they might be. 
she was a living example of what women could achieve if they dared to defy the odds. While Amelia's aviation career was taking off, her personal life was also evolving. She was not just a pioneering aviator, but also a woman with a vibrant personal life that was every bit as compelling as her professional journey. While she was shaping her career, Amelia was also making strides in her personal life. Earhart's story is not just about a woman who flew planes, it's about a woman who soared above societal expectations, setting the stage for future generations of women to take flight in their own right. While Amelia Earhart's career took off, she found companionship with publisher George Palmer Putnam. A love story that began in the Roaring Twenties, Amelia and George's relationship was as unique as the individuals themselves. George, a successful publisher, was a man of adventure, much like Amelia herself. Their shared passion for thrill and exploration brought them together. George was no stranger to the world of aviation, having previously published books for other aviators. This common ground sparked a friendship that would soon evolve into a deep connection. Their bond grew stronger with time, and in February of 1931, they decided to tie the knot. Their marriage was not conventional by any means. Amelia, being the fiercely independent woman that she was, even referred to their union as a partnership with dual control. Amelia and George's relationship was more than just a marriage. It was a partnership of minds. They believed in each other's dreams, supported each other's endeavors, and most importantly, they respected each other's individuality. Amelia was never one to play the traditional wife's role, and George, understanding this, never tried to confine her to it. Amelia's career and life were intertwined with George's support. He not only stood by her side as a loving husband, but also as a promoter, using his publishing connections to help Amelia publish her books. George's influence in Amelia's life went beyond their personal relationship, extending into her professional life. He fervently promoted her flying career, arranging endorsements and public appearances for her. Their relationship was a beautiful blend of love, respect, and shared passion. It was a partnership that transcended the norms of their time, breaking barriers not only in the sky, but also on the ground. Amelia and George's story is a testament to the power of shared dreams and mutual respect. Amelia and George's partnership extended beyond their marriage, with George actively promoting Amelia's flying career. Theirs was a love story that soared above the clouds, a testament to their shared passion for life, adventure, and the skies. Amelia Earhart was not just a pilot, she was a record-breaking aviation pioneer. This statement rings true as we delve into some of her most remarkable flights and achievements. One of Earhart's most significant accomplishments was her solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. This was no small feat, as it was a journey fraught with peril. She took off from Harbor Grace, Newfoundland, with nothing but her Lockheed Vega airplane, a compass, and her determination. Battling strong winds, icy conditions, and mechanical issues, she flew for nearly 15 hours before finally landing in a pasture in Northern Ireland. With this achievement, she became the first woman and only the second person ever to fly solo across the Atlantic, earning her international fame and a distinguished flying cross from Congress. But Earhart didn't stop there. In 1935, she embarked on another daring flight, this time from Hawaii to California. This was a journey no pilot, man or woman had ever completed before. It was an incredibly risky endeavor, given the vast expanse of open water, unpredictable weather patterns, and the fact that her plane, a Lockheed Vega, was not designed for such a long flight. However, Earhart, undeterred by these challenges, took to the skies and flew over 2,400 miles in 18 hours and 18 minutes. Her successful landing in Oakland, California, not only made her the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to the American mainland, but also shattered another aviation record. These record-breaking flights were more than just remarkable feats of aviation. They were a testament to Earhart's adventurous spirit, her courage, and her unwavering resolve. She was not just breaking records, she was breaking barriers, pushing against the confines of what was considered possible, and inspiring countless women to reach for the skies. Beyond these significant flights, Earhart also set several other aviation records. In 1931, she set a world altitude record by flying up to 18,415 feet. In 1933, she became the first woman to fly non-stop coast to coast across the United States, setting a record for the fastest transcontinental flight by a woman. Yet, for all her achievements, Earhart was not one to rest on her laurels. She continued to dream bigger, to push further, to challenge not just herself, 
but the boundaries of what was deemed possible in aviation. Amelia's adventurous spirit and determination continued to push her to undertake daring flights, leading to her most ambitious endeavor yet. In 1937 Amelia embarked on her most ambitious journey, a circumnavigation of the globe. This was not merely a flight for fame or thrill, it was a testament to Amelia's unwavering passion for aviation, a passion that pushed her to new heights, literally and metaphorically. Months before the flight, Amelia and her team meticulously planned every detail. They studied weather patterns, pored over maps, and examined the Lockheed Electra plane that was to carry Amelia around the world. The aircraft was custom-built for the mission, equipped with the latest navigation technology of the era, and loaded with enough fuel for a journey of 20,000 miles. The journey commenced from Oakland, California, and proceeded smoothly across the United States, South America, Africa, and India. On June 29th, Amelia departed from Leh, New Guinea, heading for Howland Island in the Central Pacific Ocean. This leg of the journey was particularly challenging due to the island's tiny size, making it a needle in the vast oceanic haystack. As Amelia approached Howland Island, communication with the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Itasca, stationed off the island to guide her in, became increasingly sporadic and problematic. The last transmission from Amelia, a plea for help, indicated she was running low on fuel. Then, silence. Despite an extensive and costly search operation by the United States Navy and Coast Guard, no trace of Amelia, her navigator Fred Noonan, or their plane was ever found. Theories abound about what might have happened, from crashing into the ocean to being captured by the Japanese. However, without concrete evidence, these remain speculative. Amelia's final flight, rather than being her crowning achievement, became an abrupt full stop to an illustrious career. Her disappearance left a void in the world of aviation that no one has quite been able to fill. Yet in that void, her spirit continues to inspire countless others to reach for the skies. Amelia's disappearance remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in aviation history. Though Amelia Earhart's life was cut short, her legacy continues to inspire. The echo of her achievements reverberates through the annals of history, carving a path for many to follow. Her passion for aviation, her courage, and her unwavering determination have left an indelible mark on the world. Amelia's influence on the aviation industry is undeniable. She broke through the glass ceiling that had been placed over women, proving that the sky was not just the domain of men. She challenged the status quo, setting several aviation records and becoming the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. This feat, along with all her other accomplishments, revolutionized the industry and opened up a world of opportunities for women. But Amelia's impact extends beyond the realm of aviation. She became a symbol of women's empowerment, a beacon of hope for those who dared to dream. Her life served as a testament to what women could achieve if given the chance. She once said, the most effective way to do it is to do it. These words, though simple, encapsulate her approach to life and her belief in the power of action. Amelia's life was a story of resilience, of pushing boundaries, and of never backing down in the face of adversity. She embodied the spirit of adventure, the pursuit of the unknown, and the courage to chase dreams, regardless of the obstacles in the way. The legacy Amelia Earhart left behind transcends her achievements in aviation. She was more than just a record-breaking aviator. She was a trailblazer, a role model, and an inspiration. She showed the world that women were not just capable, but extraordinary. And so, Amelia Earhart's life was not defined by her disappearance, but by the way she lived, boldly, courageously, and passionately. Her story continues to inspire generations, reminding us all of the power of dreams and the strength of the human spirit. Amelia Earhart's life was a testament to the human spirit's indomitable courage and determination. Amelia Earhart, a daring aviator, a symbol of women's empowerment, and an enduring mystery, through her childhood aspirations, her record-breaking flights, and tragically unfinished final journey, Amelia's story is one of courage, determination, and resilience. From her personal life to her professional achievements, Amelia's legacy continues to inspire and captivate us, challenging the boundaries of what is possible. Amelia Earhart's life and career, though marked by triumph and tragedy, continue to inspire and intrigue us. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe for more captivating content like this. Thanks for watching.